Hi there, Ron here from Clustered Networks. I have another security tip that's showing to going to show you 10 tips on how you can protect your domain and DNS from hijacking. So that's protecting your domain registrar as well as your DNS and making sure that your DNS provider is uh, uh, giving you protection and you're, you're doing it by keeping up to date with your passwords and things. So why is this important? Well when you think about it, your whole domain really is your company. And um, in early 2019, the U.S. government um, issued a strong warning to protect uh, your ne network from DNS hijacking because it's on the rise. And if you've got a, a, a old username and password there from 10 years ago, it's probably best to update it and to do that on a regular basis. So has this happened in the past? Well, in 2013, there was a group of hackers that uh, known as the Syrian Electronic Army that took over the New York Times and needless to say they took over their domain they brought down their website and they didn't stop there they did it a second time as well and in 2016 there was a bank fraud that lasted for over six hours where um, hackers had went in and redirected the traffic from the banks to a phishing website so everyone was going there putting in credentials for the bank and of course was that a fake website so definitely something you don't want to happen domain hijacking what is it well that's when someone takes over your domain registrar credentials DNS hijacking is when someone takes over or gains access to your DNS hosting records your a records your name server records those kind of things and they can re redirect your mail they can do all kinds of things and cyber criminals know that this is a weak spot in a company usually it's just a username and password so it's very important to keep these things up to date some things to think about is do your customers pay online well if they were being redirected to another site and paying someone else that wouldn't be a good thing another thing most bank accounts are linked to your domain so it goes to accounts at your your company com, an email address. Well, it could be redirected. Your even your banking information, they could gain access to it. Another thing is a PayPal account. Do you use PayPal to pay for um, things that you purchase for your company? Are there any PayPal accounts linked to your domain? All of that could be redirected um, to a phishing site, or people could gain access to it and buy things with your information. Do your customers log into your site with your username and password? All of those things could be compromised. Imagine how embarrassing that would be to have to email all of your customers and say, sorry, we've been hacked. So what are some things that you can do to protect your domain? Well, first of all, you want to make sure that you have a good domain registrar and it shouldn't be the same as your web hosting company. So your registrar could be a different company than your where your DNS is hosted. Another thing you want to do is make sure you use a strong password and not the same password as for any ever, any other site. So if you have the same password for your registrar as you do for your hosting, all they got to do is gain access to it and even GoDaddy was hacked uh, earlier this year. So and credentials were were given out so or compromised. So very important to be able to keep everything in, in its place and to use strong encryption. Another thing you should do is use two-factor authentication and I always recommend this for very important things because your domain really is your entire company and you want to make sure that it's protected so banks, uh, do domain registration, your servers all should have two-factor authentication enabled on them. Another thing you should have is domain locking and you should also use DNS sec another thing that uh, I have a video about that as well which is DNS security which basically um, uh, enables encryption between your uh, DNS servers and your registrar so an encryption much like a VPN another thing you want to be able to do is enable who is protection and uh, make sure you don't give out too much information and keep your contact details updated. Why is this important? Well, because if they have your current 
legal company name and your address, all of your contact information. If that domain does get hijacked, it'll be much easier to bring it back to you, the rightful owner, because the uh, information is updated. If it's five or 10 years old, you might have a tough luck getting. I've heard of some cases where people have had to wait two years to be able to get their domain back again once it got compromised. Another thing you should do is never share your domain registrar or your DNS details with strangers. And if you do, make the, have them make the changes and then afterward change the password again to something that's uh, not known only by you. Pay attention to incoming emails re requesting uh, uh, registrar information and login details. Make sure you don't get caught in any phishing schemes or unusual activity and watch for that kind of stuff. So I hope you like this, uh, uh, these tips on how you can protect your domain and protect your DNS, which is really the lifeblood of your company. If they get a hold of those two things, either one of those two things, they can really do some damage to your company. So keep them protected. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.